Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to video number 29. Okay, so in the last video we created links that would send values up to our URL string right here. And I'm going to try to start making these videos shorter by doing less things in them so they're easier to follow along. Okay, so now we need to pull these values down to be able to work with them. So let's go ahead and capture those values and let's do it up here at the top. I'm going to go in between our require once and our include header.php tag. So right here, let's go ahead and create some PHP tags. And I'm going to drop down a couple lines. And let's go ahead and create an if statement. Let's go ahead and create if, okay, because we need to make sure that the value is here first. So if the value is set, let's grab it. So we're going to use the PHP function is set. So let's go ahead and capture these values. And what am I going to do? And we're going to use the super global variable called get. Because we want to use the get variable when we want to collect values in a form. Okay, so there's no doubt in my mind that this will work. Uh-oh. Okay, so is set super variable time get and our first table we're talking to is called info. Let's close this out. And if this is set, we want to create a variable. We already used info, so I'm going to call it just table 1 equals get whatever we have up here. So let's go ahead and just take this. Nope, come on. No. Okay, perfect. But we have two tables, so let's go ahead and run an is if else statement, or an else if statement, I'm sorry. So again, if this is set, super global variable, Where's my bracket? There it is. Call this page. We call it page or pages? Page. And what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Where's my open up bracket? I'm going to run this. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a curly brace right here. And if this has a value, let's go ahead and we'll just call this table two. And we know that stands for pages our pages table in our database and let's go ahead and do the same exact thing. If this is true, we'll have this variable. Nope. Single quotations. And let's go ahead and close this out. And if you want to make some notes or some comments off to the right hand side, I totally support that. So for this line, make sure the value is here first. So if the value is set, let's grab it. So grab value, I guess. I mean, anything that's going to help you understand this better. So if this has a variable, let's create the variable. So if this has a set, create the variable. What do we do here? Else if no, there it is. For our pages, we only need to run an else if right here because there's only two tables we're talking to. We're talking to our information table and our pages table. Okay, so now let's go ahead and scroll down and let's let's try to output this into our main content area right here into our content. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a PHP tag. And nope. And I'm gonna echo table one. We'll close it out. White space doesn't matter. And let's save this and reload it. And this should give us a one. Give us a two. Okay, perfect. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so hopefully you guys are following along. And I made this video easy enough to understand. I didn't throw too many things at you. So good luck. And I'll see you guys in the next video.